Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the Metro Manila Arena. We're here in the Philippines for tonight's main event. Scheduled for 12 rounds in the heavyweight division. This should be a good one tonight. Both fighters say they are primed, coming off a very intense and passionate training camp. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. And we are underway for this scheduled 12-rounder. Side to side. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. The Lions left now getting into the mix. Now hugging on the inside. Good way to protect the midsection. A headshot blocked. That's a nice right hand that time by the Galaxy Warrior. Teddy, I've heard you say it many times before, but the better fighters have a wide array of punches. Yeah, well, you have to because obviously your opponent is going to adjust to what you're doing. You want to keep them off balance. Stay effective. Committing to the body work now, he lands the right hand. We're seeing a lot of work to the body here early on by him. Teddy, is that a certain mentality, these guys that commit to being a body puncher? Yeah, because they understand that the body punching, you know, that's not something that's glorious. That's not something that, you know, like a great left hook on the chin, bang, it gets results right away. They understand that that's something that pays off later and something you got to start early and stay with. This round comes to an end. A round in which this fighter threw a lot of punches, didn't land a lot of punches. I'll tell you, what advice can you give to him if you're the trainer? Well, first of all, deal with the psychological part. Joe, don't forget, 75% of this game is psychological. Don't let him get discouraged because even though he's not going to say nothing, in his head he's starting to get discouraged. Just say to him, hey, listen, you're going to catch him. Let's shorten him up a little bit. And you know what? He's moving his head, so go to the body. Because now you're going to hit him a little in the body because the body's not moving. Here we go. Round two is underway. That's a razor sharp uppercut by the Lion. Not much action as he just ties up. Little head hunting with the left. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. And he's holding. Pulled the trigger on that overhand left. There you go. Solid right by the Galaxy Warrior. Halfway through round number two. Body shot, left hand. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. How about that left right there? Shake it off. How about that body shot by the Lion? The Galaxy Warriors left. Working well that time. Keep going. Oh, he 
is absolutely affected by that right hand. Never saw it coming. Worst kind of right hand you can catch. He should tie up here. Body shot, body shot. Keep your hands up, all right? You have to keep your hands up. We got it. All we need is water up there, that's it. You don't need that, no, throw that away. All right, deep breath now. Deep breath. Relax. Relax. Are you all right? I need you to keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Don't worry now, all right? I just I need you to focus. Keep your hands Considering the fact that in the last round, he got tagged hard, he looks great right now to open up this round. Well, I'm not shocked because I think he has character. I think there's substance to him. And the only way that you find the metal of a person is when you test him, when you push him up against the cliff. And he's being tested now, and he's showing what he's made of. He just missed that shot up top. You got this one. Great work with the left oh, hand by the Lion. Now lay it on. <laughs> Halfway through this round. Turned fire right there, and it worked. After being rocked, now he gets his man. At this point, it's not about the skills and the abilities of these two fighters. It's about the dreams of them. And one of them is being eliminated. The Lions just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Last 10 seconds. And round three comes to an end. Deep breath. Get some water in you go. You're good. You all right? You're okay, right? You breathe for me. Now listen, he threw a wide punch and he caught you. You're gonna tighten up your punches, all right? Listen to me. The best defense is to throw punches. You need to throw more punches. That's the way. The Galaxy Warriors up around here after three rounds on Teddy's scorecard, but really nobody has distinguished themselves to any great amount so far. Good block by the Galaxy Warrior. Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. That's what I want to see. Keep moving. Keep moving. Let him bump. Oh, keep your feet moving. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. 90 seconds to go here in this round. The Galaxy Warriors movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. The Lions scoring with that right hand. The Galaxy Warriors keeping nice. his guard up very, very well. Teddy, 
does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. Needs to improve that accuracy. Miss with the headshot. That's an impactful right hand by the Galaxy Warrior. Ten clicks of the top. The Galaxy Warrior showing you a little defensive skill there. Able to move away from that punch. Relax, relax. You can do this. You know you got this. Any more of these? I'll do one. Hold it. 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 Hold Good action throughout. We'll see if it keeps up in this round of what has been a very even fight. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. That's a good sharp hook by the Galaxy Warrior. Not able to land the headshot. That's it. That's it. You see him holding on and coming upon the halfway mark of this three minute round. That's a big striking blow to the head by the Galaxy Warrior. Keep moving, keep moving. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Crashes home with a hook. Lions finding out right now that this counter-punching style Finish is not up. getting the results he needs in these middle rounds. What is the answer? Well, when a guy's not coming in and walking in, you can't counter-punch. I mean, he's not, he's not giving you the kind of turf that you need. Now you have to find a way to create your offense, to lead a little bit. That starts with the jab, getting off first. That round comes to an end. A round that I do believe he won. He fought much better there compared to what we saw out of him earlier. Yeah, don't show me how somebody behaves when they're winning. You know, really, I want to see how someone behaves when they're losing. He's behaving the right way. He's getting himself back into this thing. Listen, I want you to go downstairs, then upstairs. here tonight both guys bringing their best and both guys meeting each other stride for stride punch for punch tough fight to score here as we're back underway nice work nice work Lions able to land a nice, clean left hand. The Galaxy Warrior. A good, solid jab. Takes a step back, then the counter punch by the Galaxy Warrior. Very similar to what you see Floyd Mayweather do. You know, make a miss, pull that shoulder back, and then come right.
The Lions in bad shape. The Galaxy Warriors making for a very frustrating round now for his opponent because he's moving so much. He's really utilizing that ring and showing that he's got the better footwork. Yeah, he's doing what the old times would say, Joe. He's giving angles, keeping his opponent off balance. His opponent is strong, but he needs to be set to punch. He's making sure he doesn't allow him to get set. Doesn't give him that kind of landscape. On the mark with a straight left hand. Turn that hook over, but couldn't turn it into a connect. Oh, how about that? Comes back with a power punch of his own. Targeting that straight left hand. Well, if the second half of this fight is anything like the first half we just witnessed, then, oh boy, is it going to be fun watching this fight down the stretch. And I don't think it can change. These guys came here with a certain attitude, a certain mindset, and it's not going to be able to change now. There's no way of all of a sudden in mid-fight being able to go to a defensive fight or a different strategy. What you see is what you get, and you're going to get it the rest of the night. We have to draw more than this guy. We can pull it ahead. We got to fight. We got to keep going. We got it. We got to do it. Come on. The Lions' corner did a good job during those 60 seconds between rounds. You can tell that he's a fresh fighter, not the fighter that was clearly dazed in the last round. Good block there by the Galaxy Warrior. Teddy, when you've been in the corner in your career and you have a charge who is not making a lot of contact, what do you tell him? The first thing I tell him, Joe, is shorten up your punches a little bit. The other thing I tell him is he's making you miss, so you know what? Faint him a little bit. Get a false move out of him. Get a premature move. And when he moves, then time him. Now you're going to catch him. There's the hook. Locks a shot and then lands an uppercut of his own. <laughs> He brings a big power punch, and it landed well. Well, we've been talking about getting in his kitchen. He went in there, and he ate everything. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Solid right by the Galaxy War. Good, solid right. Oh, that's got to hurt. What a hook to the body. And he is down and in bad shape. gone by in this round. Get close. Get close. We really close. Body, body. You need to capitalize on his misses, okay? I want to see that counter hook. Make him pay for his misses. Jab, jab, and throw. Throw to the body. To the head. Then finish. Teddy scorecard through seven rounds. The Galaxy Warriors up on Teddy's scorecard, but we know with what we've seen so far, this could change quickly. He's been hit. Yeah, he has a bad habit, and he's been hit for one reason. 
that bad habit of pulling back from punches. Every once in a while he does it, he gets away with it. But every once in a while he misjudges the distance and he gets nailed. The Lions basically giving you the impression that he's a little tentative to throw punches based on what happened earlier when he got hurt. Yeah, he's got to find a way now to not give up the offense that he had earlier. He wants to go into a defensive mode a little bit, but if he gives up that offense, he'll fall too far behind to get to that no-man's land where he'll need a knockout to win, and he doesn't have that kind of power. A piercing jab by the Galaxy hey, Warrior. Let's go. Beautiful hook, accurate as could be, and damaging downstairs. 90 seconds to go, halfway through round eight. And he ties up on the inside. How about that left hand? Nice, sharp, fundamentally sound hook right there, and it served him well. The Galaxy Warriors proving to be elusive. Scores up top with a left. Last ten. A well-placed left hand by the Galaxy Warrior. So we come to the end of the round. And clearly a confidence booster for this man. He got to his opponent. He was able to stun him. Teddy, when a fighter comes back after doing what he just did, do you see them almost light up, like get a little boost of energy because of that? Yeah, it does build your confidence a little bit. You know, it makes you feel more secure. I can control this man. I had my way. Okay, nice work. Nice work. I don't want to see one punch now, all right? You're throwing the uppercut, but I need to see another punch after. Right. He steps inside, uppercut and hook. Uppercut and finish with a hook. Got it? The ninth round of this good fight. The Lions coming out here to start this round, knowing that all eyes are on him. Remember, he was hurt in that last round, so here he is, a target here early on in this round. Well, all eyes are going to be on him, but all ears should have been tuned in in his corner. He had to hear the right thing if he did. And the right thing to hear was why you were hurt in that last round. He needs to have that information. Keep moving, keep moving. Double up on your punches. Blocks that punch. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then land the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. The Lions opponent has to be getting a little frustrated here. Remember, he had him stunned earlier. He had him damaged a bit, but now the clinching. Well, that's what he wants him to do, Joe. He wants to frustrate him. If he frustrates him, then he can recover a little bit. He can get him out of his game a little bit, and then maybe he can launch a comeback in the later rounds. One to give one. Uppercut in return. The Lions well off the mark that time. You got this one. Last 10 seconds of the ninth round. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? This has been a very entertaining fight. A little time to reflect here at the end of this round. My thoughts being this. I would really be surprised if we go to a decision here. It just has that kind of feel to it. Yeah, it has a feel to me like going to one of those places where you can eat all the pasta you can for one price, you know? And some guys get carried away. They eat about five bowls. Well, these guys, they're going to have a stomach ache at the end. Somebody is going to wind up not standing at the end.
Back to live action now in what has been a closely contested fight. One of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in. Able to cover up that gut. Keep doing what you're doing. Not an accurate hook at all. The Galaxy Warrior is doing something that not everybody appreciates, but he is making his defense a major factor in this fight. Yeah, well, a lot of times people, you know, they only get it done on one end. What I mean about that is, you know, offensively they use the jab, they use aggression to set up the offense, but he uses defense to set up the offense. He, he has a double-edged sword. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. A well-placed overhand right. He missed with that headshot. Let it go! Back to the body! The Lions almost... Close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. One, two, three, four, five. And somehow, someway, he's going to continue on here. And if he's going to stay in this fight, now he's got to avoid his opponent like the Black Plague. And that does it for this round. Whoa. Throw punches, okay? Don't walk into him without throwing a punch. Okay. You're doing well. Let's get him some water. Take a deep breath. Relax. Oh, this is a wipeout. You're winning this fight. Just keep doing what you're doing. You got this. Just... I'm sure as a trainer, when you get in a spot like this, there's extra emphasis of letting your charge know just what he's capable of pulling off. I look at your scorecard, he's only trailing by a very small margin here in round number 11. Well, the key right now as a trainer, and you just touched on it, you have to remind your charge, your fighter, of why he's doing it. Things that he understood when it was nice and calm when everything was very understandable, when he told you in the gym, hey, I want to be champion. You got to remind him of that and say, okay, here's your chance. Here's your moment. Oh. Beat him to the punch. The lion stunned and he is hurt. Oh, and there you go. How is this going to go on once again he hits the deck? Well, he's getting taxes at it, so he might figure it out. has ended early here. Unable to go the distance, he couldn't rise up and beat the count. The Galaxy Warriors knockout here is a stunner. This fight was clearly going to go the distance and go to the judges. You know what? You just said it. You just explained. You just put a blueprint out to why this fight was a knockout. He thought it was going the distance, and he got a little careless. He assumed something. He was not alert, and now he's out. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. Enjoy the rest of your evening.